Hello everyone, hope you're having a good weekend, uh, learning some things, doing some things that are good, uh, doing some amazing things as well. Uh, before I do today's lesson, I just want to show you one thing, as I'm sure you have at your house too. This is uh, the uh, shelf in my basement, and you can see how I keep all of the uh, chemicals that could be harmful, glue, paint, spray paint, window cleaning, at the top of the shelf. That way little kids or dogs cannot get to them. Safety first, folks, when dealing with science. Okay, on to today's lesson. And yes, folks, there is a quiz uh, tomorrow on what I'm about to teach you. Uh, so, we're going to deal with pure substances and mixtures today. For pure substances, there are two separate categories. And for mixtures, there are two separate categories. On tomorrow's quiz, I'm going to ask you to define each of the four categories. And well as giving an example for each. So, as we've already talked about, elements are part of the pure substance. Elements are when you have everything separated. So here you can see I have two hydrogen and one oxygen. Those are elements. When I put them together into a glass, they form H2O. Millions and millions of elements are inside this glass of H2O water. And if you really think critically, there's probably some other chemicals in here too, because this is fresh from the tap. So chemicals maybe in the water filtration system to help keep our water clean. Moving on, we go to mixtures. Now there are two different types of mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous. A homogeneous mixture is when you take two or more mo like molecule things and put them together to form something that you can't distinguish the difference between. For example, you can see in this glass here, I've put in water and I've added the flour to it. And if you look, you cannot tell where the water starts and where the flour begins. They've formed a perfect mixture together. They are a homogeneous mixture. A heterogeneous mixture is when you combine two or more things and you can tell the difference. For, for example, in this glass of water, I've added some sunflower seeds. And you can look down at the water and you can clearly tell the difference between the water and the sunflower seeds. So again, working backwards, Heterogeneous, you can tell the difference between the two. Homogeneous, you cannot tell the difference. I can't pick out the flour or the water. Those are both mixtures. And in terms of pure substances, you have the molecule, which would just be water, or it can be anything that's pure, like salt, or chemical solution, or rubbing alcohol. Anything that's pure. And then lastly, you have, of course, elements. If you have any questions, ask me tomorrow in class. Other than that, hope you guys have a hope you folks have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow. Until tomorrow.